problem uh, in our first uh, Python lecture that uh, after downloading the Anaconda and using Jupyter Notebook, it is our first program and that uh, how we can use different types of operators in Python. Uh, we have uh, seven types of uh, prominent operators uh, that can be used in your uh, Python program like arithmetic operator, assignment operators, comparison, logical, bitwise, identity, and membership operators. Uh, you are most uh, familiar with the arithmetic operators like uh, if you want to add two numbers and uh, just write and you will get here. You can see that uh, we are getting uh, five answer. Now, for multiplication, then for uh, division, for example, uh, 3 divided by 5 or uh, 5 divided by 3, then we have uh, a floor division as well. Means we will get the quotient. Uh, for example, if you if we use uh, double slash 3, uh, we can get only the floor, uh, sorry, the quotient. Uh, this is called uh, floor division. Uh, here uh, we are getting one. And if we are interested to find its remainder, uh, if we divide five by three, quotient is one, and two would be a reminder, and then we have percentage operator. Like uh, five percentage three, we will get two. Now we have another op uh, uh, operators, arithmetic operators, uh, that is par. For example, 3 raised to power 2, and for this purpose, uh, we use a uh, double static, and we will get 27. Uh, then we have assignment operators, or uh, uh, it can be used to assign a value in variables. Like, for example, if e equal to 1, and we want to add one value in this, increment plus one uh, so we will get two because uh, uh, this assignment operators can be used in uh, different programming portions and just print a we have two now that can be done with this assignment operator uh, by putting plus equal to one, we will get the same answer that by using this a equal to a plus one or simply reducing to a plus equal to one. You can see that we have the same answer. Uh, so this operator can be used with minus, static, plus, and so on. I am using here uh, for, let's say, multiplication. Let's say a equal to three, and if we multiplied this by four and want to store the result in A, we will get 12. Uh, similarly, we can use uh, it for uh, uh, subtraction as well as for uh, division and for par as well. Uh, I'm here quoting an, an, another example for par, a equal to let's say two, and then a for par we have uh, these two steric equal to let's say three. And then display, so two raised to power three will get eight. So these are assignment operators. Then we have comparison operators or relational operators. As you know that if you want to compare uh, the two conditions, uh, then our, we can compare more complex condition as well. For that, we will use logical or Boolean operators. Um, these the symbols are like less than, less than or equal to, greater than or greater than equal to, equal to and not equal to. Uh, while doing uh, our analysis in pandas, uh, we can apply these relational operators on pandas data frame as well. And uh, here I will quote uh, some uh, simple example. For example, first of all, 
I want to assign. Uh, let's say two greater than three. It would be false. And if I can write like, like uh, two not equal to three, for example, uh, we have greater than equal not equal. Let's say less than symbol two less than three. It would be OK. Uh, then less than or equal to two less than or equal to three. Yes, this would be true. And if, for example, we have three greater than or equal to, it would be true. And then, for example, two equal to two. And if we write two for not equal, we can use exclamation sign, exclamation sign, and that is two not equal to two. It would give us false. And if we write like uh, two not equal to three, then we will get two answers. So these are basically comparison or relation operators. And then we have logical operators. Uh, the logical operators in Python, we have and are not. And you know that for and both conditions must be true. And for R, uh, one of the condition, if we have two conditions, then we will get two answer and not will convert the true into false and false into true. Uh, so we have, for example, we sign uh, P equal to, let's say, far true. And Q equal to, let's say, false. So P R Q. I am using R operator, P, R, Q. It means that uh, true or false will get true. In the same way, for example, P and Q, both condition must be true, but we have one condition true, another is false, so we will get false. And then uh, we have not, for example, not, not P. P. In P we have two, so it will give us pass. And we can use, uh, let's say, complex condition as well. Like uh, if we want to write uh, two greater than one and three greater than two. Now, first of all, two greater than one and then three greater than two would be executed. And after that, and would be greater. two greater than one, it will give us true. And three greater than one, it will also give us true. And true and true, we will get two. Uh, so, and operators can be used with the combination of relational operators if we have some complex uh, condition. Then we have bitwise operator. Uh, to understand bitwise operator, uh, because it is used in low level language like in C or in assembly language. Uh, here, uh, because uh, bitwise operators uh, works on uh, bitwise operators work on zeros and ones. Uh, here, with the help of Excel, Excel, I can I will explain. Uh, like uh, we have A and B two numbers, and uh, in A we have stored four and in B three. No, first of all we convert this four into binary numbers. So there is, this is the easiest way that we can write to one, two, four, eight, and so on. So here, write one. So one, zero, it is converted into binary. And for three, one, one, one plus two becomes three. Now, when we use our uh, bitwise R operator, uh, if both are, sorry, if any of them is one, then we will get one. So, and for end, uh, both should be one. Like we have two numbers, four and two. First, we have converted four into binaries, that is one zero zero, and then we have converted two into binary, that is uh, here. Sorry, it is three. So it is uh, one one. Uh, so looking at this, you can see that uh, here uh, we have one zero, then zero one, and then zero zero. Uh, we can change this number. Let's say, if, uh, for example, we have this five number. So here, because both are one, so we will get here one. Uh, for exclusive R, for exclusive R is equal to A complement B plus A B complement. Uh, first, we get A complement. The complement of A is 0, 1, 1. And for example, in B, uh, we have this B, uh, like this one. 
zero one one. Uh, so we convert this into one zero zero because it is converted one and zero zero into one. Uh, now for a, then we calculate uh, a complement into b complement. It is basically end operator and bitwise end operator between a complement b, and then we have uh, again uh, end operator between a and b complement, and we have applied the same rule that I have explained for end operator, and while Adding this because 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, because now we are adding them. A complement B plus A B complement is equivalent to exclusive R. And similarly, we have exclusive R and then we have some bitwise operator. For then we have uh, uh, all these are bit operators. In bitwise operator, we have left shift. Left shift means so if we have 1, 0, 0, and if we shift all the bits to the left side, so these are shifted, one is shifted here. 0 is here and then 0 is here. So if we convert this 100 zero zero into decimal, it would be equivalent to 8. And in the same way, if we have 100 zero zero and if we right shift all the bits, 10 one zero and 10 one zero is equivalent to 2. So these are, uh, uh, this discussion is about uh, bitwise operator. Now in Python, again, uh, we use these uh, bitwise operator. Let's say we have uh, C equal to 4 and then uh, D equal to 3. So if we write C and D. So it will give us 0 because none of uh, them, uh, because 4 is 100 zero zero and uh, then 3 is zero 011. One one, and if we uh, multiply these two, we will get a 0 at, as I have already explained. And then if I write uh, C R for R, uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, pipe signal. And how you can get this pipe operator? Uh, by shift and backslash. Here is pipe operator and D. So all uh, three bits becomes one one. And if we put uh, uh, in one to four, as I have explained in Excel, uh, so we will get seven. Now we have a uh, uh, bitwise exclusive R, like I have already explained, C. And for this, we use this caret uh, or par symbol. Uh, it is basically caret symbol. So it would also give us seven. Uh, then if we shift uh, uh, this, uh, let's say C left, so two times less than symbol, two times less than symbol is basically shift left, it will give us eight. And if uh, we shift right two times greater than symbol, so it will give us two as, uh, as I have already explained it. And then we have negative, for negative, uh, we use this symbol and it will give us minus five. Now, for complement or negative. Now we have identity operators as well, uh, whether two objects are the same objects or not. Uh, so or whether the two uh, objects uh, are the memory address are same or not. For that, we use identity and matrix. Here is uh, some example of identity matrix. For example, F is the uh, one, two, three, and uh, it is a list. And G is, let's say, again, one, two, and three. Now, uh, in identity operator, we have two operators. The one is uh, is and the other is is not. So if we write F is G. So it will give us false because F is not G. And if we write like uh, H equal to F. And now if we write H is F, then it will give us true. And if we write in the same again F and G, then we can write F not G. F is not G. 
So it will give us two. And the last, uh, we have uh, membership operators. In membership operators, uh, we have is our, uh, sorry, we have in our, not in operators. Uh, so I can explain with the help of uh, uh, these uh, operators uh, later on. Thank you very much for watching this video.